Hello, this is Movie Reviews by JT, and I got another review for you. Chaos Walking, which was directed by Doug Lyman and stars Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley. This movie is from the screenplay by Patrick Nash, and it's based on the science fiction tr trilogy Chaos Walking, 2008, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Nash. And this film also stars Baz Markerson and David David Oloyo and Nick Jonas. And so this movie was very boring. And so it didn't get to the action stuff like later in the end. And this movie was supposed to come out in 2019. But it got delayed because they had to do reshoots on it. So we don't know how the original version of Chaos Walking would have been compared to the version we got right now in theaters. And so the movie is about in the non too distant future, Todd Hewitt, Tom Holland discovers Viola Daisy Ridley, a mysterious girl who crashed land on this planet where all the women had disappeared and the men are affected by the noise. A force that put all their thoughts and stuff. And it's threatened as Tao vowed to protect her. You will have to discover his own inner power and unlock the planet's dark secrets. So everybody on the planet got this feel force thing. Everybody's thoughts. You can hear everybody's thoughts. It's called the noise. And Daisy Ridley's character didn't have it. Because she's an alien from outer space. It stopped. And they never seen a girl before because all the girls was all wiped out, all the women on the planet. So when Tom Holland's character, Todd, see Daisy Ridley's character still in, so stuff to go back to a ship, a ship crash, it stopped. Everybody knows he's trying to protect her and help her get back to her home planet and everything. And then he started having a crush on her and everything. It was just one scene. He was um, imagining he kissing her and everything with his um, noise thought and everything. So he pretended it was all out in the woods trying to get away from Bob Markerson's character and stuff. And he had his father played by Damien Bashir and, um, and everything. This movie, when I was sitting in the theater watching that, I felt bored because the dialogues were so boring, like, it's not, it don't get to the action until like later in the movie, it's just talking and a lot of walking they be doing, in the water, and in the woods, and stuff, just felt very bored with this movie, and stuff, and everything, I would have liked the chaos walk a little bit better, if it wasn't so much boringness in it, and stuff, and everything, so, this movie it just did not do it for me at all. And Tom Holland, at this point, when he's not playing Spider-Man, nobody ain't really interested in him. And stuff. Cherry was a movie that I had watched with him. That movie was very boring as well. It was 140 minutes long, so it had not been. And in, and the pacing issues, and as for Daisy Ridley... This is the first movie I see her outside of Star Wars, and her career is not really going there, not really going anywhere neither. It's the the murder, the, the movie called a Murder on the Orchard Express did not really impress anybody neither, and Chaos Walking is a movie that's not impressing nobody neither right now. So, I think Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley's career is really going down downhill, instead of going uphill, and everything. I would have liked this movie more. The day performance it was just meth in this movie and stuff and everything. So I get Chaos Walking a two out of one. It would have been higher if the movie was good. It is not good at all. It's just boring and everything. So so that's my review for um, Chaos Walking. All right, bye.